Hello, it's me again. About art centers, uh, they can be really resilient, especially if they're located in suburbs. Um, the sibling network is part of another network called Klister, which is national in Sweden with 20 participants from the very south to the very north. Um, but I think it's important to mention that there are more and more networks and alliances forming in many places. Uh, there is cluster, there is common practice, there is L'Inter National, there is uh, the Arts Collaboratory, etc. This is actually a moment when people want to come together, uh, even on institutional uh, levels, and I think this is significant. If you're interested in what the sibling network uh, art centers are doing, I learned in the booklet that there are two tours on Sunday morning um, that can take you to those four, but also some other uh, sub, um, Kunsthalles in the suburbs. So, this is a painting by Victor Rostal called the Lineberg uh, 2020. It's small and it shows the late modernist housing estate where he grew up in Helsingborg in the south of Sweden. Uh, but it's a future vision. Uh, at this moment, in his imagination, nature is about to take over. Uh, plants are coming close to the buildings, there is even a waterfall coming out of one of the buildings. This was one of the works in a big project called Tensta Museum, Reports from New Sweden, that Tensta Konstal did. Tensta is not alone, there are many late modernist housing estates in Sweden, but also elsewhere. It's a global phenomenon. And so is the phenomenon of artists being interested in late modernist housing. And that formed one of the threads in Tensta Museum, which otherwise dealt with history and memory in this very neighborhood, in relation to people, in relation to the location. It uh, involved about 40 people, um, artists, architects, uh, researchers, local associations, musicians, etc. Everybody contributing one little piece which together made up a colorful uh, quilt which went on for no less than eight months, but there was a prior history with seminars talking about the writing of history, the notion of cultural heritage and how in many parts of Europe and the world uh, the right, and particularly the extreme right, is trying to uh, appropriate history and especially cultural heritage. Um, it uh, was a very interesting project which energized the institution in many different ways. And uh, we were lucky to be able to commission new works, but also work with other types of material than visual arts. For instance, uh, the uh, political drawings of Amin Amir, who is from Somalia, living in Canada, but who has a website visited by very many people, both in the country and in the diaspora, commenting on current conditions there. Uh, we showed this to actually speak about the present, but also the history of a particular group of people living in Tensta, who, people who have come from Somalia to live here. Um, and we co-organized a number of events with the Somalia Association in Tensta to discuss the image of Somalia, which is strangely absent from the public sphere in Sweden. We also worked with uh, local uh, poets uh, and musicians. Uh, Revolution Poetry is an exciting network of young uh, people interested in slam poetry, and we commissioned new text by them for this. There were two parts, a fall department and a spring department. Um, with new contributions, for instance, uh, a selection of the material from the Kurdish Association in Tensta, whereby uh, we could look at one of the biggest and most active associations uh, in the neighborhood. This is what it looks like from above. Built between 1967 and 1972, uh, 20,000 people live there today. 90% have a translocal background. It's an old area. This is the church in the middle of the neighborhood, which happens to be the oldest stone building in the region of Stockholm with parts from the early 12th century. It was farmland until the neighborhood was constructed. And uh, the... Uh, History was something we wanted to discuss with Tensta Museum, but we also wanted to think about the relationship to the city center. Hence, if we played museum, 
both because we wanted to speak about the past, the present and the future, and because we wanted to show that we need the kind of stability that a museum typically has, we also had uh, branches. So Tenster Museum had a branch at the City Museum and another one at the Museum of Medieval Stockholm. While we were working on this, the local library contacted us and said, we're going to be renovated, can we open a branch over at the Konsthall? Of course, we said. So for eight months, we had a small library in our uh, reception. And as we were working, other people contacted us wanting to organize a national forum on housing policies with networks, organizations, etc., engaged in a burning issue in Sweden. And it was a two-day event with several hundred people, and it fitted very well into the Tensta Museum framework, based on an initiative from the outside. So this is the Konsthall, a private foundation founded in 1998 by an artist who lived locally and his friends. Uh, a very small structure, six uh, members of staff, uh, 1 million euros uh, overall budget for one year. Here you can see uh, one of the staff meetings. We tend to dislocate. Every other staff meeting we do somewhere else in order to be able to learn about the community, but also to talk about what we're actually doing. We work a lot in relation to uh, people living in Tensta, children and youth, of course, art camps. But the important thing is that we're not trying to second guess in terms of what the population might wish and want in terms of contemporary art. But we put together a program that we feel is very urgent. And then it's about mediation, finding shared concerns with individuals and with groups, and from that build something. So it's much more about producing a something, whether it's a space or something else, we don't quite know. But it's more than activating public space in any case. We work a lot with the Women's Center, for example, and through that collaboration we've been able to hire Fahima al Nabsi as a receptionist. And this has turned out to be a key person in terms of many of our activities. We also do straightforward art exhibitions, Iman Issa, or for that matter, the ever so playful band Kraus, mocking Swedish pride in Björn Borg, who for most people today is known as an underwear brand and not as the champion of tennis. And finally, we can also collaborate beyond the neighborhood. For example, with Stockholm Konst on a one day amazing performance by Dominique Gonzalez Förster and Ari Benjamin Myers, starting in the city center, moving on the subway, based on Ray Bradbury's novel, uh, and of course, Truffaut's film, Fahrenheit 451. I'm not giving up. Because this is where I want to get. That it's an embedded place. The sign that you can see as you exit the subway, an art center next to many other activities, a building where art can sit next to meetings of uh, a local association, a sewing workshop, a group of Somali girls who meet every Wednesday afternoon and they're probably there having their internal meeting as I speak. Thank you.